Hello folks and welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3. I'm your host, the Game of Darius. Last we left off, we had just gotten Momo to join the party. And Momo is pretty awesome. Uh, she can... she's mostly an assist sort of character. A lot of the things that she gets are healing and uh, other interesting spells like Fortell, which helps divine the outcome of a battle. So let's take a look at Fortell really quickly. She's not particularly fast, but she does have a sizable amount of HP, too. Terrible luck. Lucky color, yellow. I'm not sure the entire purpose of this spell, to be completely and totally honest. But she can also identify, uh, cast Protect, and Silence right now. Besides being her own healer of sorts. Yeah, I probably should start killing these lizards before they start doing some nasty stuff. Oh. These guys are a nuisance. Come on. Start doing whatever. There we go. So besides that... Let's see, have her just attack. So besides that... You can look... could have sworn you could look at some of the equipment that you got in your inventory, but okay. So besides that, she's got a freaking cannon. It's a magic cannon. How much damage does it do right now? I don't really recall. Nor shall we see, because again, she is blinded. <sighs> Momo, heal yourself, you poor woman. I'm also pretty sure that she's not that high a level. Much like how we had gotten Nina around level... 8? Was it 8? I'm pretty sure it was 8. Stop... poking us with your horn. Sounds lewd. Yeah, she shoots confetti all over the place. Okay, she's level 11. Or, level 10. Not that low, but still low enough to be considered, oh god, why are you in the party? Also, it doesn't help when you don't properly equip your party. Never mind, she is as, equi as equipped as she can be. So, she has a cannon, which you load with different ammo. Hence, why she's got a ammo for the thing. She's pretty damn intelligent. More intelligent and uh, pretty much on par with Nina right now. It's just that she also hits pretty damn hard too. So we want to start exploring the tower. Ah yes, these things. Notes, honey, for Momo. I can't figure out how she works, she's too complicated. Honey 3, Momo. She seems to develop an attraction to me when I gave her chrism. She's so cute. Panel key. Stepping on the floor panels triggers a switch. Stepping off the panels resets the puzzle. The door will open when all the panels have been set to gray. Do you want to try? Yours. So... We just want to make these panels into gray panels. Which is most unfortunate because I suck at these kind of puzzles. Hmm. Might be here a while, folks. Yep, I did this all sorts of wrong. This is all... This is that freaking... Um... One puzzle all over... The puzzle boxes from Onimusha all over again. Dear Capcom, what is it with you and your damn puzzles? Okay... Nearly got it. Just nearly. The. I'm fairly certain too that for the most part, all I need to do. This is only to get into that next door over there, and that door doesn't have much in it. 
Maybe. I don't know if it does or not. Okay, wait. If I make one of them... I'm bad at this. If that was not completely obvious. Damn it. No. Um... So if I were to go up... Then I can't go back the other way. Ah, damn it. <laughs> it's like a train will fail. Okay, wait. No, then I won't be able to get that one either. It's like you need to do a little bit of a wide berth in order to get it. Alright, let's see if we can't uh, do all one color first. There we go. Huzzah! Door opens. Found skill link. Good. Damn it. Actually, I'm I'm in the all defensive position, so I may want to think about uh, using something to make it so as we are awesome. If that makes any sense. Let's double bluff. So yeah, Mo Momo is kind of the best of both worlds when it comes to magic and physical attack. She does the, roughly the same amount of damage as Ryu, or Darius does. Blah. But she's got the magical power to do whatever else she needs to. Flame Chrism. There we go. Ice Chrism. So remember before how I said that she was based around her ammo? Her ammo gives her different magical properties. So since there's a lot of ice toads running around, we'll probably want to go ahead and use flame chrism for the now. I seem to recollect that you are able to... Maybe I'm thinking Breath of Fire 4. Pretty sure I'm thinking Breath of Fire 4 and that you can change your equipment in the middle of combat. Ball. Suck my balls. How many times does anyone get to say that during the Let's Play? Answer. Any time that there's a reference to a ball on screen. Hey. Bam. I don't know why I love Dino so, or why I love Momo so much. She's just so awesome! She's a freaking super intellectual character that rocks a cannon! A cannon! And again, I'm not you. There's two things that uh, I seem to be rather against when it comes to high fantasy games, much like this. And that's usually magic and. Uh, the inclusion of technology. And besides Final Fantasy VII, this game also gets that exception of to, to my preferences. It, it's kind of silly, but it also depends on how it's done. Like, it's either a near apocalyptic era times or clearly after said apocalyptic times when the realm is, you know, being once again filled with... Hmm. How did she miss that armor box so many times? Being filled with life once more. Like, if I could find some sort of campaign setting for this game, I would love to play the ever-loving crap out of it. Anyways, so, this nuisance of a puzzle. I recall quite a bit 
I think I want to... I want to click one. And it's only got to be the one that looks no poke. I don't remember this room. Oh, okay. We're all the way down here. Yeah, okay. This is where I recollect having problems with the puzzles. Mm, that's a lot, though. Pain coming my way. So, yeah. Might as well show off the identify skill. Let's use it on that guy. And while us we're down here, I'm going to show off the reverse gene. So, before... Flame Defender makes it so as Ryu is a fire dragon with a high defense. Now, he's going to become a ice dragon with a high attack. Identify brings up a little stat block about what you can find on the bots, how much experience in, how much zinni it drops. Not anything about its HP though, which I guess is a little whatever because you can see it's HP bar right over there Dragon. so yeah he's awesome um I suppose we really don't need to have Nina do anything I really should make it so as he's got a higher speed though and look at her block her cannon just summons forth a freaking iron shield. Oh, okay. The protobots are just plain not affected by elements, are they? See, this is the kind of stuff that would be useful to be told in the identify spell. Well. Yeah, there's not much else that these other two can do. Because Jolt is going to almost wrecked them. Hmm. Armor bots seem to have a lower attack, too. Uh... Dragon Breath. Probably should have Dragon Breath in the first place. It's non-elemental. Kind of funky that they give even the regular old elemental stuff. Yeah. It's like a laser. Okay. That does damage to it. Extra attack. She's just so fast that she's able to hit the armor bot before the armor bot hits her. And Nina levels up. And gains slow. That's pretty nice. Slow is pretty good. Really, though, I would want the spell fast, mostly because, um, Darius is slow as bulls. I should also make it so as he is in front, huh? Simoon, Momo. Now, Momo, since she's got the flame ammo in there, should do, like, yeah, a lot more damage. I think it's only 50% more damage when you go to attack with a element that they're weak against. But it's, I say only 50 damage, like it's nothing, but, you know, damage is damage is damage. These tools. Uh, that. And yeah, I know that Ryu, or, god damn it, keep on calling him Ryu. Darius is able to just double blow all the creatures to death. But that wouldn't be half as fun. What's totally not fun is being blasted with ice breath. Because look at all that. Look at all that damage. That's all healing herbs I'll have to use now. Bastards. Alright. And yes, uh, for those that have been listening for the last uh, two episodes or so, this is the music that I like to use when passing time in a video game, what with speed-ups. It's just kind of ingrained in my head, 
simply because uh, when I was a kid, I was stuck in this area for a really long time. Just, there's no excuse for it. I was, I was a dumb kid. Alright, so it wasn't... Um, I'm just trying to remember exactly what was with this puzzle. It was a lot of annoying things. Hey, I didn't even need to double blow. Kinda wish that they had changed that in the translation. Double blow? Because it just sounds lewd whenever you say it now. Well, to me it sounds lewd whenever I say it now. Alright. So. We've already established that this one was not the one I need to press. Is it all the other ones besides that one? Press... God damn it. I'm trying to- what I'm trying to do now is press the ones that aren't going to be the... Yeah. Momo, oh, are you going to be able to do anything against these guys? Yeah, I seriously could have sworn that there was- there is a way to change your ammo back around, but I guess not. Or if there is, it's not in a way that I remember. Come on, hit it! You're completely new to that shirt, aren't you? Annoying pieces of crap. Um, he will jolt. I do love myself a good jolt, because that shit is funny when the enemies start hitting him the, themselves. Momo is now leveled up. <sighs> Gotta get to a master soon. Alright, so what I'm going to try to do is press all the buttons of the ones that don't look like it. No. That was also wrong. Dang it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, I am a dunce. So I'm pretty sure, once again, there's the ones that look- Oh, it is the ones that look like it. Which means that it's gonna be this one. The fourth one. Yeah, the fourth one. Ah! I hope I don't have to hit that second switch thingy again. When we're out of combat! Smack the total box. Blow it up. Oh, okay. Ah, we're doing excellent at this game, aren't we? Getting like no money though. Looks like a switch. Yeah, okay. Slightly annoying puzzle. I don't know why the hell it took me so long as a kid. I think mostly because I forgot which switches I had already hit. So I ended up just, you know, hitting the same switches all over and over and over again. Which of course can be right annoying. Have I shown off Ice Blast? Cause here's Ice Blast. Oh yeah, using those 3D polygons to full effect. Not as much as Breath of Fire 4 does, but you know, that's a completely different kettle of fish if you'll uh, pardon the misuse of expressions. Oh, right. This one. So pretty much, if I recall correctly, when you pre when you throw a switch, it activates that panel. Uh. I need a way to uh, regain my magic for Nina. 
Either that I need to just ignore attacking with Nina and just attack with Momo. Oh well. Throw the switch. Okay. Pretty obvious solution there. But there's something over here first. Maybe. Actually, I think that this is a way to plot Hyperbots. I don't seem to recollect these things. I honestly probably should have used lightning. Ow. I also seem to rec- I don't know. Uh, this is just a theory, because pretty much everything and anything that was in this tower has been smacking at Nina. And I want to say that that is because Nina is a magic user. Now while, again, while the logic is, you know, because she's a magic user, they'll go attack her anyways. I think it's because of her ability to use Chrism as a magic source. If that makes any sense. I know that makes sense in my head, I don't know about anyone else. But that makes sense to me. That said, Hyperbots are going to be a right pain in the ass. So, okay. Moon Tears. I think these are an item that restores a character or the entire party to full health. Yep, restores HP and status to all the characters. Just gonna, yeah. Oh wait, what was it the flying fish did? 20 HP. Love how I got back to that after I've gotten to this point. Um, I typically don't use the Moon Tears until bosses or some sort of super critical situation. If that shit ain't obvious. Nah, don't need to double blow. Double strike. Oh, oh blitz. What a weird spell. So what Blitz does, is it halves that character's HP, but it does just what it does. And the more HP that you have when you cast it, the more damage it does. I don't know if it's damage through attacks or just flat out damage, but there you go. Either way, I should probably heal up the characters again. Yes, even the measly, like, two damage that they did to Darius. Alright, there's something over there, right? Yeah. Now I'm gonna want it. Ah, there's a Hyperbot. Let's take out the Hyperbot first. Seriously wish that Momo could do something. I should really just re-equip her with the regular old ammo. We want the hyperbot here. Because it does the most damage. Stop that. Let's see. I don't know how much resistance the hyperbot has to Momo's attacks, but I'd rather not test that. I just really would rather not. Uh, we'll actually have Darius double blow the armor bot. Can't wait until we get some more powerful magic. Jolt's nice. I'd just rather be able to hit the entire... Oh God. The entire enemy party. There's words I was trying to say. I mean, it's rolling low... On the AP again. Hey, Darius learned shield. Awesome. Uh, shield works like protect, only it affects the entire party. Alright, so if I throw that switch, it does that. But if I were to throw... There we go. Okay, long corridor. 
Nothing behind there. Prism beam. The prism ore is subjected to high pressure and emi emits a highly charged beam of light. This is called a prism beam and has many useful applications. Such as annoying the crap out of me with a random encounters. Well, I'm not that annoyed with them. With them. It, it's just, you know, random encounters, man. Especially in an area full of these monsters which do so much damage. Oh, don't you dare murder me. Okay, she's fine. Both are dead. Yes. Okay, they're not resistant to her attack. Weird. I only say weird because they're called hyper bots, but they're not like the armor bots. And I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that they did so little damage to Darius comparatively. I mean, I know that the other two aren't exactly 800s any worth. Oh yeah, so uh, freaking Momo has the ability to shoot stuff with a cannon. There's going to be places that I can come back to much later on in the game where she can pretty much just straight up blow the ever loving crap out of walls. Which is, of course, awesome. Well, I think it's awesome. Bam. Yeah, she can... Oh, come on. Freaking Ice Toads. The one time I actually want to face off against Ice Toads and suckers just disappear on me. Alright, well, lead the way, Momo. You know our your tower more than we do. I'd presume, anyways. Defensive positions! These are... No? Yes. I think that... You know, thinking about it now, I think the only... Rain, um, multi-attacking, hitting spell... God, I can't think right now. That Momo got... That Momo gets throughout the entire game... Is the Quake spell? It's a rather powerful spell, it's just that she doesn't get it until, like, level 30? I'm not 100% sure. I just remember that's the sp that is a spell she gets. As well as getting sleep. Which would be stupid useful now that I think about it. Alright, nothing there. Oh, crap, I think I remember what puzzle's next. Remember how I was talking about chrism beams and whatnot? I think there's a puzzle based around chrism beams coming soon. Now I think... Eldritch folders, channeling chrism or magical energy into the crystals will activate it. I, yes, thank you. Don't need to read it again, Momo. So we need her, and me not pressing the wrong buttons, to activate these magical floating thingies. Don't, don't quite know what happened there. But, anyways, so I want to try to get all the loots, which... I'm trying not to jinx myself by saying that I don't need to worry about random encounters here. Oh, wait. That's right. There we go. Nope. So I need to do it for two in order to get this one treasure chest. Uh... Four, I think, for the second one. Breastplate. Yeah, excellent. Now, probably five. Two, three, four, five. 
Come on. Be enough. Uh, six, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll try on the breastplate in a second. Six was the magic number. Ivory dice. Ivory dice are pretty damn good. Ivory dice is an item that when you use it in combat, it doubles the amount of experience that you would receive from whatever it is that you're fighting. Okay. So if I go full board 10, it should get me across there. Great. No. I am thinking the wrong things. So breastplate uh, provides less speed, but near equivocal defense. I like having the defense. I'm pretty sure the mage's robes would also be helpful. I don't know. I wonder how many. Uh, I, yeah. Yes. I'm wondering how many weapons I have now. Nine, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I think it's fully magicified anyway, so didn't have to worry about it that much. Yay! On to the next floor. Ah, crap. What is it gonna be fighting now? I think I'm gonna have to call it at this episode. Okay, it's just one of these. And when we return, we continue our ascent. Ascending of the Tower of Momos. Ah, you know, you're so close to a level. Level up, woman. So, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Cheers.